in today's video we're gonna take a look at my water shader video that i made a couple of months ago this is not the usual type of videos that i make in this channel this kind of a troubleshooting video because for a lot of people that watched my previous video they are having a lot of problems regarding the shader mainly the depth part so in this video i'm gonna show you how you can make your shader work perfectly hey guys it's me Apurva. welcome back to my channel and let's get back to the video so why i'm making this video as you can see most of the comments on that video were about having problems with the depth part honestly i couldn't understand the problem myself because if you watch that video you might know that i don't have a beefy computer and that's why it was having troubles running the water shader when i get these comments regarding the depth part not working i was unable to check the water shader in the unity's latest version but since then i have bought a new pc and the first thing that i did here was to check my water shader in the latest version of unity as you can see if i run the shader as you can see it works perfectly here so better understand your problems what i did was recreate the whole water shader in unity 2020.3 it's the latest lts version of unity quick tip here you should always use the lts version unless you need or you want to see a feature that is only available on the alpha or beta version otherwise you should always use the lts version so i recreated the shader in unity 2020.3 and as you can see it works perfectly but some things have been renamed as unity does this a lot of times and i think that's the main reason that a lot of you guys are confused so what i'm going to do in this video is show you the things that have been renamed otherwise you can watch the previous video on the water shader from the beginning to the end and it will work just fine for those who wa don't want to create the shader but need a water shader in their game i'll upload the whole project in github so you can just go in the description and download the whole project there but for those who wants to learn let's move forward with the video so the first thing that i noticed here was when i try to create a new shader if i right click and go under create as you can see if i go under shader Previously there was an option called URP but as you can see here there is no option called URP because the shader graph has been moved to a whole new section called shader graph as you can see here and there you can see that the URP is here and from here you, can, you will choose the lead shader graph and you will give it a name for now let's just call it water and as you can see if i open this shader everything is as it should be the other thing to check for is the urp settings if i go under my asset settings folder as you can see here i have three shader profile created here urp high quality urp low quality and urp medium quality if you watch that video i can go under edit project settings and under graphics you can see that i'm using the universal rp high quality so make sure to select the high quality and make sure that depth texture and opaque texture is enabled for those who are switching from the built-in render to urp i will also show you how you can create a urp asset so that you can use the depth texture and opaque texture easily but that's going to be and at the end of the video but you need to make sure that both depth texture and opaque texture is enabled for this shader to work now if i open my water shader make sure that under graph settings your surface type is set to transparent otherwise the water shader is not going to work i'm just showing you how you can troubleshoot your problems for your water shader also make sure that the two colors that you create here the deep water color and shallow water color has some kind of transparency as you can see that the water's alpha uh, the color's alpha value is not 255 it's a less than 255 because i want my water to be transparent same thing goes for the shallow water as you can see here it's transparent the alpha value is not 255 but less than 255 because i want my water color to be transparent so the main problem that people are having is with the depth part make sure that your depth is exposed any variable that is not exposed will not be 
shown in the settings as you can see it's showing here but if i just untick this and make sure to always save your shader asset because otherwise it's not going to apply so if i untick this box and save asset as you can see the depth is not showing here but if i expose this and save my asset again as you can see it's showing here so make sure your depth exposed property is checked under the node settings and make sure you save the asset every time you make a change the other thing that you need to check is both of your textures are marked as normal map from here so when you import them it will be tagged as default but you need to make sure that both of these are normal maps the next thing that you need to check is the normal map settings so i create a texture 2d that is called main normal and second normal previously when i select the mode it used to be called bump but now there's a mode literally called normal map so you need to select the normal map here that's it guys if you make sure that all of the settings that i showed you here are as they should be and you follow my previous video on the water shader from the beginning to the end i'm pretty sure that your water shader is going to be working correctly the next thing that I'm going to show you guys is how you can switch from the built-in renderer to the universal render pipeline. So whenever you go to create a new project, you will have all these templates here. If you are starting a new project just for the water shader, make sure you select this 3D URP template because it's going to help you a long way and that's the template that i use but for some reason if you chose the 3d code that is just a built-in render as you can see that this uses the unit is built-in render in that case what you are going to do is let me show you here as you can see here i have a built-in renderer unity project open if i go under my project settings as you can see that the script remote render pipeline settings has nothing so the first thing that you need to do is go under window package manager and from that you need to select this option and select unity registry you need to find universal rp from the package manager and install this in your project so i'm going to click install and wait for sun to let it install itself it's going to be just a couple of minutes as you can see universal rp is installed in this project so i'm going to close the package manager and under my assets folder i'm going to right click and go create and at the bottom here i'm going to find rendering and under that that's going to be some options called urp asset with 2d render with universal render so i'm going to select the universal render and give it a name and from that what i'm going to do is open my project settings and i'm going to select this from here and it's going to prompt me with a message saying changing this render pipeline asset may take a significant amount of time i'm just going to select continue and as you can see i have successfully switched to urp now so now what i'm going to do is select my urp and make sure that depth texture and opex texture is enabled from now on we will just follow the water shader tutorial to make your water shader that's it guys that's the end of the video i hope that by watching this video and my previous video on the water shader you now have a perfectly working water shader in your game if you haven't watched my previous video on the water shader make sure to watch that video from here right now and i will see you in the next video goodbye